What's up guys? Recording a tutorial today to explain how to creep the mercenary camp on Last Refuge and on other maps. So this is the first map we're gonna do. So first of all, pay attention to my control groups. I'm always gonna have my footmen on three here. I'm gonna have my army on one, you'll see it down there. And my militia on, on two. You need five militia. When Archmage is like 95%, you send it here. You can do the same on the other side over here. And then shortly after he starts running there, you're going to pull this from this angle here. You see, not too close, not too far. I definitely recommend rewatching the video multiple times. To make sure you get it right. And then you see it's perfectly in sync. You kill that guy first. You move back in with this footman here. And then you move the water elemental here to tank as much of the damage from the water elemental, uh, from the, sorry, rock golem as possible. And then you're going to make second water elemental in a sec. And like you see, I'm not taking much damage right now on my peasants and footmen. That's because the water elemental, if you put it very close to the rock golem, they're going to tank all of the damage. Look, I barely took any damage. Now you can send these guys home and start building your farm here. You see, I even pulled the aggro on my own footmen to keep the water elemental alive so I can do more uh, damage onto the next camp, which usually it depends. You can do this one or this one before expanding. And this is like a creep route that's viable, mainly against humans, sometimes against elves. If you got a feeling they're gonna go keeper. Very important rule is you need to calculate the distance here perfectly. And don't run on the right side. Otherwise this guy's gonna ensnare you. They're not gonna like it. So you can go all the way up here with your footman and then back there. And on the other side, it's the same thing. You would go here, go in, and then you would run here and then go back up there. Um, and very important, you need to wait until these guys have left, like the two trappers. If, if you pull with a footman and as they start running away, you move in, the two trappers are going to turn around and ensnare you over here. So you need to wait for them to be maybe over here, out of range of the army. And then you go in and then you attack this. So I definitely recommend rewatching the way I did it just now and uh, perfecting it and practicing it against computer like I'm doing now, doing it now. Let's go to the next map. All right, so on Conceal Hill, same thing. The footman is going to set up over here. My rally point is here. Not too close. Like if you put your rally point here and the units go too early, they're going to get ensnared. And if you get ensnared, oof, you're going to be in a rough time. So we send militia. Maybe it was a little bit late this game, but not the end of the world. Sometimes on these camps, I kind of like making the water elemental earlier because then you start replenishing mana a bit earlier. Then now I wait a bit, then I pull to the pull. I think I almost failed it. I went so deep that I almost got ensnared, but not quite. So thankfully for me. Did not get ensnared. Then you can turn around. You don't have to go that far. It's nice to bring back the footman for the additional damage. And then now same thing. I'm gonna wanna tank with the water elementals. For some reason this trapper keeps attacking my... I'm gonna pull the aggro as you see. And then usually when you creep that, you can make a farm here directly to get shredder later or like have control with revelations. So yeah, the most important thing is not to get ensnared. And I guess against Elf, if you know he's going to creep greedy, sometimes you can try and gamble and do this. But if you get harassed shortly after, you might lose peasants. So a very important aspect of doing this, again, in Human Mirror as well, is that you need to cover your retreat here. And sometimes you even have to deny some of your own workers. But the fact that you start with level 2 plus a big item can make up for that. Let's say like you lose two peasants or something. And usually if you creep this first, it means you want a fast expo shortly behind. So it's good to do either this camp or this camp and then go to the expo during the night all right let's go next map all right we're on another isle this is a different one like this one does ensnare but it's mostly the damage that you're really worried worried about i like to do this camp with six militia because i only want to use one water elemental here ideally and yeah most people they just do two and also i think a lot of people take quite a bit of damage from this camp so you see i make my water elemental early here Oh, I need to move it. Okay, I messed up. So I'm going to set it up here. And I want it to tank a lot of the damage. And you go for the one at the back here, first and foremost. And then you put a few of the other units on the Magi. Then I'm going to pull the aggro here. You see, so far it's mainly that footman that has taken damage. I'm going to save my water at the last second if I can. Yeah, I did. Now I pull the aggro to spread out the damage. And you see, so the damage that I took was a little bit here and a little bit here. And then my, I kept my wet, my water alive. So I'm min maxing everything that I can. Don't summon this guy too close. If you summon him too close to this, you're going to get ensnared. And if you get ensnared, that means the water elemental is not tanking. 
And you want that water elemental to tank? Because that's what he's here for. We, uh, we even got two shots from this other one. So we're literally min maxing everything. And then usually after this, if you creep this first, you're probably going to want to expand after. But a very important concept of this kind of build order that I haven't talked about yet, in a, which is very important in my opinion, is that you always make your altar towards where you want to creep. So if I wanted to creep this first, I would make my altar here. And if you want to creep the Tusker camp first, usually sometimes against Undead you can do that. Inhuman Mirror it's very common. Against Night Elf you can as well. Even though on this map a lot of people do straight expo. Yeah, you put the altar down there. It's very important to remember this. So you don't have much time during the loading screen to think about that sometimes. But you need to do your best. Like as the, the loading screen comes up and you see the opponent, then you see a map. You have a few, like... A very short time to decide like everything where you're gonna place it and stuff and it's a very important part of maximizing your chances of success to make to make the, the right decision with that all right Tyrannus, five militia again i'm gonna try to time them a little better and this time i'm gonna wait until i've attacked the crypts to make the white elemental see i send everything here the archmage is gonna be kind of surrounded with everything and then I select all the units except the Archmage, and I send them to this guy. And then, personally, like not everybody does this, but I like to put my, uh, my water on just movement thing. So he's not actually attacking, because sometimes if he attacks, he gets purged, and that's the worst. So now he took a lot of damage, and he didn't attack for a bit, but... As you can see, it was still like a pretty easy camp to creep, regardless. And... I guess the what did the most damage to me is not even actually the creep, it's the lightning shield that was applied on me because it wasn't my best execution, but I think you get the picture and it's also one to kind of work on and perfect yourself here. Okay, so Amazonia is one of the hardest maps to creep the expo well on. So we're gonna do the normal creep route where you creep this first. Again, very important, the altar towards the camp that I'm gonna creep. This should not be too close, not up here, not up here. Maybe, uh, I guess a little bit more down is okay. This is usually the correct distance. Five militia for the first camp. You can also do four, but five makes it easy. Don't we all love it when things go easy? So it's, it's kind of the same as uh, Tyranas here. You pick every other unit, you let this guy get nine shielded, then you send this in. I see I even messed it up here a bit. And now I do the same as I did on Tyrannus with the Water Elemental. I just put it on follow. And the really good thing about this kind of map where like this camp is very close to... Oh yeah, I should have pulled this earlier. So when these creeps are like about to die, you pull this. You can still use Militia for like a few more seconds here to help out with this. Your Water Elemental should be doing most of the tanking. And I think you can do both with one Water Elemental depending on how it's going. So that's going to be the fourth farm here. And now, if I have some low hit points present, like this, they lost a little bit of hit points, I put them on gold and I swap them out for the other ones. I'm gonna do the expo with six. So this is the hard part. I send the militia, and then shortly after I send the militia, you're gonna wanna pull. So you need to go here and then back. And on the other side, it's the same. If you go any closer, you get ensnared and it's a disaster. And then these guys, you kinda let live. As you see, I didn't wanna get too close, so I don't get ensnared. And then you go from this side, you get the water elemental. And again, you try and tank as much as possible with the Water Elemental, which will be hard actually this time. Yeah, like I said, this is one of the harder ones, in my opinion. Ah, not doing too bad, I guess. God damn it, let me through. I wanted it to get closer so that the Water gets some money and see, and then he starts attacking it. And then boom, you start the game with level 3, a big item. I think it's okay to send one back here when it's like that, and then you get the expo with just the 5. Usually will, you will be getting harassed while you're creeping the expo on this map if you're doing it against undead, night elf and stuff. So a way you can make up for that is sometimes sending extra militia, you know, like I did six, maybe I would grab more peasants. The thing about this map is that uh, you can buy a shredder to really save your wood at any time later on. It comes online at 23, you see it's 20 now. And... Also, this expo has 20k instead of the regular like 12.5 on most maps. So uh, all you have to do, even if you fall behind, is to secure it. You need to secure it at any cost. And then you're going to be able to do pretty well a lot of the time. Um, and yeah, the important part is not getting ensnared here. Is You can see this little 
patch here that's how far you will go and on the bottom right is kind of the same is here the little patch you come in from that angle i use shift personally the way i do it is so I, or sometimes you can do it manually you click here and then when you're ready or like when you are in the right position you stand it back but i think using shift is better because you can use shift here and if it's not close enough and they don't react then you already interrupt you send it back here and then you use shift here so you do it progressively until you get it right and then once you start getting it right a bunch of times you will really have built the habit it's the same thing here on this side and then you will get it right like all the time basically in those games which makes it very handy if you want to equip the expo uh, the expo quickly and like i said you see the shredder now is already available so you take first then you get that so on Echo Isle, the Mer camp is identical on both sides. You're going to want to use five militia. And you need to avoid aggroing this if you want to do the Mer camp first, which can be a little annoying. That's why I set both my rally points here. So everything is going to come straight down. And then I will manually send everything into there. And you will see the Archmage will be kind of pulling everything. The goal is to not have your water elemental purged and not get lightning shielded either this archmage comes in i'm gonna shoot this guy and then i go for the purple one with the army and for the wizard with the the rest so now even though he used one purge already i wait for the second one then i start attacking if you attack earlier there is a decent chance that the archmage uh sorry the water elemental might get purged and we really don't want that because this guy did most of the tanking here but as you can see, you still take a little bit of damage here, but that's not the end of the world because behind that, you can replace those peasants and put them on the gold, like I explained earlier, and put the healthy ones outside to be used as militia or even to go for the expo. I'll show you. Actually. So I'm going to do this camp now. You can't make a farm at the Mer camp here on this map. And remember, an important part of it was if I creep the Mer camp first, I'd make Altar here, but if I wanted to go here up there, I would put it here. So now you see these two are like the most injured. I send them. There we go. And then now I could go creep expo uh, easily. I could have maybe already sent militia. But usually that's another thing I, that I haven't explained yet. But 18 o'clock is nightfall. Almost any expo on, on almost any map, unless you want to go for a very quick expo, you should al almost always wait for the nightfall. And see here, that's my second water elemental. He's still alive. He's ready to do some tanking. He's ready to to do his duty for me. You send everything, once everything is closed here, you attack with this guy first. And guess who's gonna tank? Guess who's doing all the tanking? Almost all. And then uh, he's gonna take the baton away from him. We minimize damage entirely. Crap to level 3 quickly, now you can start setting up the expo. You're usually gonna have a lot of gold. You can buy the Berserker as well pretty quickly. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so on Twisted Meadows. We're going to use five militia and I'm going to try and show lab into mercenary camp. So this one gets in position down there and he will go here. It's very, very, I think the ones with Ensnare are always the hardest one, but this, this range is like really, really funny. So you wait for the Archmage to be out, wait a little bit, then you go this close and then you run away. You shift it here and then you send it back there so that it's going to be back on time. Oh, well, that's kind of will actually like. That they ensnare this far. Let's see if they stumbled. Hmm. They're not using spells. They're not using slow and anything else. So I guess it was just. Oh no, he's using ensnare. Right. The ensnare doesn't really matter here because the peon. Oh, sorry, the peasant was in range to attack anyway. Yeah, actually, I think it made me take way too much damage here to do this. This is actually my second attempt as well, and it still wasn't the best. This used to be easier to do with the old militia timer, but now that militia lasts less long. But as you can see, I'm going to leave this one in the video so that you can see that whenever you get ensnared, it's usually pretty bad news. That's what I was explaining earlier anyway. So now we're going to do the Merc camp. This one is pretty easy. You just come this close here and then you run away. As long as you don't completely run in and don't not, don't get stumbled. So once you do that, the main one is the rock golem that shouldn't be uh, using spells. 
And by that I mean the, that big ass stone ball that he's got. Yes, yeah, I'm not doing the best job here in this game. But this should be good enough. You just want the water elemental to be tanking. You don't need to save that guy here, it would be too much hassle. See, now you can take some damage as long as it's spread out, so it's not too bad. See, melee shines really fast nowadays. And then you can use this guy to heal a bunch. I'm not even gonna summon the next water. I want it to be a level 2 water. Yeah, that wasn't the best, but it does the job, I guess. And then after that, I mean, usually now I take. Now I take, but like, for example, if you did this creep rod, like, let's say in mirror, then usually you would, you would expand after because you got mercenaries. But you can also tech. Like, either is fine. So, yeah, the first one is kind of hard on Twisted. I think I have it vetoed. That's why, like, my pulse on this map are not amazing. It's because I never played pretty much. But for those of you that played and that wanted to know how to creep on it, this is pretty much it.